Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the cafe. Today we are talking about the most useful command I can think of right now, the clear command. So let's get into examples of how to use it. The first main example of how to use the clear command is to just clear out all the items. This is really useful. So <clears throat> say you want to clear everybody in your realm or server. Just type slash clear and then at all. Boom. Now see that gets rid of all the items from everybody. I have a cycling item bar and that's different. That's like a special command I use. Don't worry about that. So if you want to clear everybody, that's how you do it. If you want to just clear yourself, say, you know, you've got some stuff in your inventory and you don't want it there, clear at S and that's it. Now, say for example, you started a game and some hackers got in and they gave everybody bedrock. Well, then the way you could do is you could make this command specific. So you go clear and then at all, this will target everyone around at the time. And then you can clear bedrock there. And now anyone who has bedrock with them is going to lose it. So check it out. Here we go. See, I've got some bedrock and I'm like about to ruin this realm by building all over with it. And then someone types clear out all bedrock. Now it's all gone. So that's awesome, right? <laughs> Now there's another, there's way more stuff you can do with this. So say someone's got diamonds, like 64 blocks of diamonds. And that's like way too much, like how'd they get that? But you don't wanna clear all of it. Now this is also useful for trading gimmicks. Like if you wanted to sell stuff for diamonds, you would do this. You would clear it all diamond. And then the first number you enter isn't actually the amount. It's the data value. So let me pick something besides diamond to explain this better. So if I were to pick stone, for example. All right. So this is the basic stone. It looks like that. But granite is actually another version of stone. So if I wanted to clear stone, but I only wanted to clear the granite, I would use the second data value. So that's instead of stone zero, it's stone one. And then boom, see it clears the granite. Now if I did stone zero, it's going to clear the stone. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So that one, usually it's going to be zero. Then say you wanted to get rid of Oh, block. Just a few. You'd say clear zero and then like five. See, that's only going to get rid of five of them. Now I've got 59. If I do it again, now I've got 54. So I could set this up to a command block where I, ha I click on it and then it takes diamonds for me and then gives me these. And in fact, I use it in my shops and I'll show you because it's one of the main ways you're going to be using this and there's another way and I'll show you that too but first let's get to the shop all right what's up all right hey that frog oh he's still here cool all right all right don't get distracted magician all right so this is my shop setup I'll show you here with one of these so the first block I have, it checks how much money someone has, and then it um, removes the money. But if I wanted to use items instead, it'd be very easy. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. It's actually, it's the bank I need to go to to show you what I'm talking about. So let's just take a quick walk to the bank. It's right over here. In fact, let's take a really quick walk. All right. Now we're at the bank. So, here. This, I actually don't 
do item trading anymore like this because what happens is people can clone blocks and hack and and then they get lots of items and then they can hack your money system so that's why i actually use a scoreboard money system but if you don't want to it's it's very easy to set stuff up see here we go here's my command if you clear at player so this is the player that pushes the button connected to this command block and then my money used to be per per block so because it was really hard to get in a flat world and the clear at p per per block zero one this is going to clear one per per block from the person and then what's going to happen is it's going to add money so they could actually exchange per per blocks for in-game money and that's a pretty cool thing you can do with the clear command but trust me they there are ways to exploit it um, you'll have to get into my advanced videos if you want to know how to counter that now let me tell you the last thing about this command because it's a really useful one so you'll want to know it now say you want to know if a player is holding an item this is the command you would actually use to figure that out so what you do is you put down a command block and you do clear at and let's see clear at random this is going to pick a random player and check them and so you'll just set this to repeat unconditional always active and have it really fast like zero so you clear at them and then say you want to check if people have diamonds clear at random diamond zero and then you clear none of them so what's going to happen is this will only be true when the thing actually clears a diamond from somebody so it won't clear the diamond but it'll it'll try to it'll clear zero of them so right now this is true whenever it hits me so how you would use this is you hook up another block and you chain it and you'd make it always active conditional now this is a big deal what you do then is let's say title at player so this is going to target the player that that happens to actually that's going to be a little trickier than that but this will work for the example now title at player title say diamond holder see now it's saying diamond holder because I've got a diamond now if I set this to at like a hundred ticks and see now it's telling me I have a diamond because I do but if I just chuck the diamonds I am no longer a diamond holder see so there's a lot you can do with the clear command